Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike, and we're going to do a video, uh, mostly for the newer players. A lot of people ask, what's the difference between woods ball and speed ball and hyper ball and air ball? So, uh, there's live games going on, and we didn't bring the wireless mic, so hopefully I don't get, you know, shot in the lip today. But anyway, paintball first started, obviously, in the woods. So, this is basically woods ball. Now, all them woods ball fields got tons of different ways you can play it. Some woods are just straight woods. Some woods have, uh, like, bunkers and forts and all that good stuff. So, around... Probably right around, I want to say about 96, 97, paintball started getting a lot more competitive. So what they wanted to do was, because there was more and more athletes playing it that started running faster and faster through the woods to prevent injury, they started playing on what they call speedball. So let's go take a look and see what a speedball course looks like. Now, obviously, if you can imagine, you know, someone who's really fast, you know, that, that is running along, at a full sprint and catches something like this, you know, a vine or something like that, you know, obviously that person's gonna get pretty severely hurt. So the idea was with speedball was let's give them bunkers, but let's put it on like a soccer field style, very flat so that the people that are, you know, the athletic paintball players for the competition, uh, there's a less, you know, less of a chance for them to get hurt. So started in the woods, and just so you know, we're over here at Orbital Paintball in Tampa, Florida. Awesome field. I've been playing here since I moved to Tampa in uh, about 1996. And they've just got a really good field. I mean, look at all this stuff. I and mean, they got a fort right here in the center so you can see a nice little castle. Orbitalpaintball.com if you need directions. But here you go. This is a little overgrown. But if you can imagine, you know, this with the spools and, you know, and the, uh, the pallets and stuff like that. If you can imagine this being all mowed, this used to be really like mowed down, but no one's really been coming back here. This is what they traditionally call speed ball. It's basically pallets and spools and wooden, you know, little wooden bunkers on a, you know, mostly flat field. But, you know, in, in true speed ball and competition, this would be like on a soccer field where you've just got, you know, 90 degree pallets and stuff like that. But this is what they refer to as speed ball. Then I think around, 97 98 somewhere around there and i'm not exactly sure on the history but for what i understand badlands in chicago illinois was the people that have the first hyperball field hyperball is what you see here it's this conduit you know these uh i don't know what these are used for i think they're maybe they could be sewer pipes they could be anything but this is what they call hyperball and this is actually a great hyperball field that's been exactly like this for like 10 years and it works really, really well. But a lot of times what they'll do is they'll run um, uh, like two by fours into the ground and they'll put these on top of it. Sometimes they'll dig a big hole and, and put it in, but you can't knock these over, you know? But this is what they commonly refer to as hyperball. So you started to see a lot of tournaments in the late 90s using hyperball. And you can take a look at all the different shapes and stuff like that. I mean, as a matter of fact, as you start going through this, this is what's really cool about orbital paintball is you can almost go through a little history lesson. And you can see how all this stuff came about. So you can see they basically have like a snake right over here. So you can lay these down and make a snake. And then what happened was, was um, obviously getting these up and moving these around became a problem. People didn't want to play on the same exact field, you know, weekend and wake out with the same layout. And obviously you can't be out here pouring concrete and digging holes in order to move the field. Well then, guys, if you have a band, go out here on the field and pack. Right around about the late 90s, that was right around when airball started coming about. Now the reason why people, uh, players wanted airball was they liked how fast uh, speedball was. They liked how the hyperball field was, you know, because uh, you know the you know it was a little more round, so the games were a lot quicker. You couldn't you know embed yourself into a 90 degree like this. I mean, you can imagine if if you're playing here and your opponents are over there. I mean, you could just basically sit here. The opponent's got to go completely around you in order to shoot they have to be basically behind you the cool thing that a lot of players liked about the hyperball was you know it was round so you couldn't embed yourself in there well then they liked the idea you know the the fast athletic players were really liking speedball then hyperball came about and made the games even faster because they couldn't you know they weren't really making those uh little 90 degree bunkers that you could just embed in and then obviously airball came about and I think sub, I think airball, sub air, I think that all came about in the late, late 90s, like 99 or something like that. 
And then now obviously you see you're on a you know on a true manicured surface, much less you know chance for injury if you run into the bunkers, they're staked down, so they'll just come out of the ground. But that is basically the evolution of paintball. So you have woods ball, then over there basically a, a surface like this, but with wooden pallets, woods ball evolved into speed ball, and then speed ball evolved into hyperball, and then hyperball evolved into air ball. So hopefully that helps. Thanks.